Ancillary trainings that can be offered to employees might cover the area of and topic of reputation. We obviously were implying in the last training on uh, information management that possibility of witness protection programs that are fucked over, screwed up by your people because they're so antsy in their lives, they're so underemployed in a way, but they're so immorally trained that they might call police on an innocent situation. Or they might call police because they're having an emotional reaction to being talked to or simply overhearing a telephone call. And that is foolishness. No level low-level low employee and no manager of any shop in America should have the right to call police on something that might be considered behavioral. Unless, of course, it involves some sort of true act of violence in your store. People's interpretation of their personal rights and boundaries who are employees of your company need to hit on reputation. What will the reputation of the store look like if there are seven vehicles or six vehicles, an overuse of force, an abuse of authority of police officers that could come to your door because it's not a busy day in theory for law enforcement. It totally obliterates your company's reputation. It basically says that the community is unsafe, not at all. What it says is that your employee could not manage a situation. Now if I say that, employees aren't going to like that. But what I have seen, what I observe, what I have experienced, what I feel from my long journey through police harassment and abuse and on the edge of witness protection from what's happened to me in my life as a professional person, a displaced executive, and a person who does secret shopping regularly, just like about every other fucking consumer you have. Because what you're not thinking about is that they might not fill out your little online survey, which is ridiculous of give feedback to the company unless you want to do that to get the discounts that are related to doing that. The overall reaction is if you offer people food in your restaurant to fill out that form, they're likely to do it. They might forget that they've done it, but they're likely to do it. But the reality of checking yourself, you must understand that people and human beings are emotional creatures and their emotions can misgovern them in a way that causes them lawsuits. So I guess I'd like to end on that note. That stupid people call police in a way that harms not only the employee but the reputation of the local company and the corporate brand. And that they should be the last people to call. And the first people you call is your corporate office security department or your corporate office HR and how to handle something. And by that time, the situation might have blown over. We also know that people in general in society have bad days, have difficult situations going on in their family, might be in the process of losing a parent, might have gotten a call that their child got shot. We don't know what causes people's behavior and how they interact, either in impatience or in struggle or in strain with your employees. But bottom line, your employee's job is to remain cool, calm, and collected without being flippant in a poor listening skills style with customers and consumers of our community.